All right, what is up guys? This is Zach with Dream Media. I'm out here with Chris from That Home Theater Dude out in Texas. We're gonna be doing an unboxing of the 50-50, 60-50, 40-50 in a shootout and give you a little bit of our personal take on these products and let you know, you know what you might wanna buy. So stay tuned. The question we've all been wondering. <laughs> 50-50, 60-50, or 40-50. Today, we're gonna find out. That home theater dude has been analyzing and overanalyzing, making sure he's getting the absolute best value. <laughs> so without a doubt, we're gonna know. So basically right now, what we're gonna do is do the unboxing of these things. And um, the cool thing is, is one of these actually, I'm gonna be taking home with me. So uh, whichever one I like the most is the one that I'm going to be buying today. So my Epson 5040s days are just really, really numbered. So if you guys have predictions, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. And then we'll go ahead and see if you're right. Hopefully, if, if some of you guys get it right, I might be able to do a giveaway or something, all right? So one big difference here, guys, between these units on the 6050 and the 4050, they come with a back cover. They're black versus white. They also come with a free mount from Cheap, which is included and a bulb. Oh, they're cheap? They're cheap mounts? Yes, they're cheap. And the bulb is pretty expensive. These are like 350 bucks, so it's a value not to forget about. Also comes with a three-year warranty versus a one-year warranty. That's also important. Gives you a little peace of mind. Here's the bulb. You got about 5,000 hours on these guys, three to five years, depending on usage, so um, you're going to need one of these eventually unless you're one of those guys like us that upgraded every year Which most people don't <laughs> um, You'll be using that bulb. This is the mount Right here And I guess I'll pull it out so you guys can take a look at it um, It's a tension based mount nothing really special about it I really like the strong fine adjust mount over this. You guys see me using my videos all the time. It actually has a gearbox in it, but this does the trick and it's specifically designed for this unit. Yeah, it's actually really cool because I have uh, some some people in the actual home theater community and they were basically telling me because my, my, I have an omni mount projector mount for mine and uh, I, I wanted something that if I bump it, it's not going to take the actual picture out of frame because sometimes if I'm changing HDMI's or something or, or doing an update of the actual projector, you have to touch it and if you touch it, you, it might move. So it might cut everything out of alignment. So uh, they were telling me about the cheap mounts um, and I was actually looking into it. So. I mean, even if you just slam a door sometimes. Yeah, you know, hard base. Yeah. So or what you get base. in the box of the Epson 5050 is going to be their remote, which is, I'm looking at it right now and I can already tell one button that I can definitely tell it's different from the uh, 5040. So brand new remote actually looks a little more, um, looks, kind of looks redesigned. So let's go ahead and see if we can show you guys the difference on this. Same batteries, comes with the same batteries. We have an HDR button down here, aspect ratio down here, and then pretty much all the rest of them look basically the same. You can still get the uh, lens memory with lens one and two, and you can adjust those. I think it has, a lot of these have 10 presets, but they look exactly the same. And just for a frame of reference, let me grab my other one and I'll hold it up at the same time. So the 6050 will have that too, but lens memory on all these. So this is mine, and they basically look all the same, except for this one probably has some like ketchup or barbecue sauce in it or something. Um, but yeah, they, they look very, very similar and this one has that HDR button and there's a reason for that HDR button, especially because with the brand new ones, especially the uh, 5050, it has a lot more of the cells and I'll go ahead and show you guys in a second. Um, probably I can just be talking while I'm actually going to show you guys, but there's different cells of the 4K format, 4K 60 frames a second, 4K 24 frames a second, and what the 5040 and the 4050, only two of those cells are actually populated with HDR. All the rest of your con content is gonna be SDR format. So um, it's gonna show that color space, even if you try to max out your player, like if you have you know, your um, 4K Blu-ray player, you have your Panasonic or whatever it is, if you put the max settings on it, like 444 color space with 4K at 60 hertz, you're gonna get SDR format in, in, the, in some of these projectors. Yeah, that's key. Yeah. Very important to note. Power cord in this guy. Same power cord, has a little clip. Cable cover, or yeah. cable tie. Okay, so there's a little quick start guide in here as well, guys, on both units, as well as registration. 
it's important that you're purchasing from an authorized reseller. If you don't and something goes wrong with these units, you're up a creek. 100%, man, because so, I mean, these things aren't cheap. So if, if, if you want to go ahead and risk uh, getting a deal on something from like, you know, secondhand or, you know, a, a shady website or even even a, a well-developed website, some of these people aren't actual, actual um, authorized retailers. And you can run into the problems with that, especially whenever it comes to your actual warranty. It's important that you check out the list on the manufacturer's website, regardless of what home theater product you're purchasing, because there is a lot of that going on. Well, knockoffs and things like that. Okay, so this is the 4050. This is the 5050. We're talking 400,000 to one contrast. I believe it's 2,300 lumens. And 2,600 lumens here, million to one contrast. This in between this one and the, uh, the previous model is you're, you're actually going to have increased uh, pixel shift abilities. It's actually a refined processor. There's three processors that were updated with the, the 5050 version that just came out. And from the people that I've talked to, it's a huge difference over the 5040. But I'm, I wanted to go ahead and get my testimony on that before I started you know, spouting out all kinds of different stuff so that you guys know that it's the actual truth. Yeah, and it, he has a, a 5040 here that we may shoot out. Um, probably will shoot out. But I also posted <laughs> one on our channel of the 5040 and the 5050. So these are the units. Go ahead and do like a little panorama, up close view of both units, just to show them. Cool. And uh, then we'll move on to some other cool info for you guys. guys uh, I've been shooting out a lot of projectors recently um, this is actually 2400 lumens 2600 lumens and 200,000 to one a million to one contrast I was a little off there earlier yeah and I, and I was just reasoning with that as well I mean like the pros pro cinema versions were meant to be in a dedicated home theater they're supposed to be in a light controlled environment that's why they're black I mean, uh, these right here, the home cinema versions, these, you know, you can pop them anywhere. You can put them in a dark room, you can put them in your living room, you can put them in your kitchen, your bathroom, it doesn't really matter. Because, I mean, these were, were made to be that specific reason for that reason. So they're white, and I think that the contrast ratio between this one, it will shine. I mean, just because it's only 200,000 200, to one? Yep. Just because it's only 200,000 to one doesn't mean it's necessarily worse or better, you know, than this one because in that dark room environment, you're not gonna really notice the difference in between that. If you put this in your living room, you may notice the difference in between that. I mean, this, is a, this is a great projector still, guys. Um, so don't let the, the contrast turn you away from it. Check out our channel. I've done demos after we've completed theaters, at least probably six with this. It's still a beautiful image. Um, we're gonna see today exactly how it performs next to this guy. Uh, but the biggest difference is this is pro. This is consumer grade. One year, three year warranty. You can buy this anywhere. Um, uh, obviously you can buy it from my, my buddy here, yep. Zach. Um, but these, you have to go to someone that's an authorized installer of this actual um, projector. So you can't actually just go to the you know Walmart and pick this thing up. It's just not gonna work that way. Yeah. There, there's a reason for that. Well, let's get this party started. All right, getting these puppies powered up. The showdown.
things begin. Okay, guys, um, we are hooking these up right now, and I just want to notate one thing. The 4050 only has one HDMI port that is DHCP 2.2, and it's doing 24 frames, frames per second max. Um, the 5050 has both HDMI ports that do DHCP 2.2. They're, they're both a full 18 gig port, but um, this does 60 frames per second. Um, so this is going to be SDR, HDR all the way across. It's one thing to note. All right, guys, check it out. First thing you see as soon as we plug these guys in, got them aligned and focused is look at the black bars. I'm sh we're going to upload this in the highest resolution possible, but we're going to give you like our take on it if you can't see on your phone or whatever device you're looking at. Look at the black levels over here in the bars. Extremely dark down here. More of like a, a gray up here, which also reflects in the imaging. But you can clearly see that the 5050 is a much brighter image and producing a lot better contrast. 4040 is not a bad image though. What do you think, Chris? I think the HDR, uh, just right out of the box, the colors look great on the, the 4040 or the 4050. I, I, that which immediately caught my attention, but whenever looking at the overall picture of the 5050, and like seriously, we have just turned these things on, the projectors are cold, I mean, they haven't had a chance to warm up, they're not calibrated, they're out of the box performance. So I mean, just to see just a night and day difference just right now, even just getting into the actual thing itself, um, and the cool thing is, is if, if you guys want to go ahead and go to watch this video, because we're going to be doing like a lot of the same shots. If you guys want to go ahead and watch his video, he's recording on a different camera than I am. And if you guys want to watch my video, I mean, you're already watching it. So, <laughs> but I mean, like we're, we're, we're both on different cameras and uh, I, I really think that the actual difference will, will come through um, actually in video. But I mean, the best thing with these videos is you guys come to these things to hear our testimony and our reviews for them. So uh, I think that could help out as well. So let's go ahead and uh, do some more scenes with these uh, hooked up. Hey, so just real quick, so let's go ahead and talk about how this is actually hooked up. So I have uh, my 4K Blu-ray player playing the 4K Avengers going into my Denon. The Denon then spits out both of the same um, uh, both of the same signals through both of their outputs. So I have uh, each dedicated line going through a fiber HDMI cable, and these are the Rui Pro fiber HDMI cables. I, yeah, I mean, I, I really believe in 4K uh, uh, or fiber cables, especially if you want to have a longer run. It's really going to help you guys out. But let's go ahead and jump into a little more of these comparisons to do a, a really good job of uh, A and B type of consideration in between the 5050 and the 4050. Yeah, I would say for the cost difference, it's, it's definitely worth it. You can see a, a huge difference. Look how bright that is. Yeah. All right guys, this is a still shot and I'm gonna kind of get it up close so that you guys can really tell the difference here. My body's going to get in front of the image, but you should be able to see pretty clearly, even on your, your phone. Let's go ahead and get a better still shot to, to actually look at, because this one's pretty bright right here. So Honestly, we'll... both of those from this angle look <laughs> pretty good. Just like you can really see up in, in like right here. 
Yeah, it's, it's seriously, every single time I keep looking at this, there, there's some things that the 40-50 are better at, there's some things that the 50-50 are better at. All right, so apparently we have way too much content to go ahead and get this into a one just video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this down in a two video series, uh, maybe more than that, uh, who knows? It depends on um, my, my buddy's time constraints. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and end this video here. Really appreciate you guys for watching. If you guys wanna go ahead and check out uh, Dream Media Home Theaters, this guy is Zach right here. Really cool guy. Uh, go ahead and bend his ear about any of the stuff that you guys see here and highly recommend that you guys go ahead and check him out. Yeah, I'll do my best to answer your questions, guys. Um, we are extremely busy right now, so if I can't get back to you immediately, um, just be patient. Um, we are doing our best to keep up. We have nationwide free shipping on all of these products and a low price guarantee. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe down below and give us a big thumbs up. This Absolutely. is Zach and Chris. All right, guys, check out next time. Take it easy.